Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, I'm delighted to learn that there is such a large presence from the financial and private sector at today's event. We are honored that uh, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, is joining this private and financial sector global summit on the Yoga Framework for Action to contribute to the importance of this forum. I am not with you today because I'm in Bangkok. I am attending currently the sixth Asian Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction. This is also a very important event with 2,500 participants registered from 42 countries and well over 20 ministers, all representing a region that has the highest number of people and businesses exposed to disasters. Ten years ago, 168 governments gathered in this region and adopted the 10-year Yoga Framework for Action for Disaster Risk Reduction. As a result of the HFA, as we now call it, we can today see significant progress in protecting lives from weather-related disasters. However, economic losses due to disasters continue to rise at an alarming rate, mainly because of the rapid economic growth and massive private and public investments in hazard-exposed locations, such as cyclone-prone coast and flood-prone urban areas. The HFA will come to its first end, 10 years of work next year, and the private and financial sector now has a unique opportunity to help to develop the successor framework. The private and financial sector has a unique risk management expertise and a well-known ability to adapt to changing environment. At the uh, third UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in Sendai, Japan, in March 2015, the successor framework will be adopted and we count on a strong presence of the private sector in this important conference. Your meeting today is a vital step in these ongoing efforts to build strong partnerships between the private and public sector that will address and must address existing disaster risk and help prevent the creation of new risks. Today at our meeting in Bangkok, the private sector is well represented and they have today uh, endorsed a very strong statement with a couple of points that I'd like to share with you. The first one is that public policies need to be based on sound business models to encourage and incentivize private sector investment in disaster risk reduction. And secondly, the private sector says, the post-2015 framework for disaster risk reduction should promote the adoption of proactive business continuity plan. And finally, the private sector strongly promotes sharing of risk information with all parts of society. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen and friends, I'd like to close my short uh, intervention by thanking particularly Mike Morrissey and the International Insurance Society for hosting this important summit at its 50th annual meeting. And also I'd like to thank very warmly the Willis Group, in particular Dominic Cassele for sponsoring this summit, and Rowan Douglas and his team for always being a driving force that today bring us all together at this crucial point in time. Thank you, and I wish you a very productive meeting and look forward to its outcome.